Alright, I'm at the illustrious Circle K and I think I found Courtney. She is the one that we're going to be exchanging fabric. Are you Courtney? Alright, have you ever made a fabric exchange at a gas station before? No. <laughs> so your first time for everything. They are yours. Perfect. Okay, and I've got a 20 for the earrings. So Courtney, you make jewelry and I bought some really cute earrings that I saw on your website last night at like 3 a.m. So obviously I'm crazy. I'm very excited. I, I love very weird ear in like quirky earrings. I collect those. I saw you posted some masks on the Facebook group. I'll post All right. some more. <laughs> awesome. All right, Courtney, good meeting you. All right, happy travels. Stay safe. That was totally awesome. I got some really dope earrings. And I met Courtney, who is a fellow sewist, and she also does a lot of artsy and craftsy type stuff. So I'm gonna link her website in the description box. Check her out. She's a very talented young lady, and I'm literally standing here in a gas station parking lot looking like I'm insane. Coming at you from my sewing area, I've got some fabric in the washing machine. I've got the pattern selected. I'm gonna be using the one provided by Cricut. I like that it completely covers the nose area. I do plan on adding a wire, but I've got a lot more elastic and the twisty tie stuff coming on Thursday. I have a little bit of elastic, so I think what I'm gonna do is start sort of an assembly line. I'm going to get the fabric pressed when it comes out of the dryer, get it traced, cut, try to do everything I can, do a lot of the steps until the elastic, and then do that stuff when all that stuff comes in the mail. So this is probably gonna be my last check-in for the day, so I'll see you guys later. Check-in number two, it's a few days later, I have not finished a lot of masks because I've been waiting on supplies, but they are here. I received this garden twist tie from Home Depot and a bunch of elastic, so let's get to sewing. It's about a week later and I'm about to go over to a rehab center to donate some masks. I've got 34 of them and it took me forever to make. In hindsight, I think I should have chose the more pleated surgical style masks to do a big batch of because the more fitted curved ones just took me a way long time, like a week to make. Kind of having a no makeup and really bad skin day. Here I'm going to insert some footage of me making each type of mask so you can see what the process is like. Here we go. Just arrived, I've got my own face covering on and we're gonna drop these masks off. Mission accomplished. Also, I want to let you know the CDC has now put out its own guidance on face coverings and there are both sewing and no sew options. So check that out in the description box. But thanks for watching guys. And if you wanna see some more videos, I recently did a video with some tips for making face masks. I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial or a full out like pattern or anything like that. There are tons out there, but first of all, I would go with the CDC guidance. I'll see you guys next time. Jennifer for the sewing report.